Welcome to this short video where I'm going to do a little demonstration of a technique called SQL injection, which is a, um, a network security attack often used to try and gain unauthorized access to websites. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you. I've got a very, very, very simple website here with a simple login form. And this website is powered by a little database, which we can see here in PyCharm. So I've, this is the code that runs the actual uh, web page. And I've got a user table. And if I look in my table, I have three users, one called admin, one called test user, one called Joe Blogs, and each one has a password. So if I were to take test user and testing, I should be able to log in. So let's try that. So I've put in the username test user and I put the password testing. So if I press login, that logs me into my very, very basic website and it welcomes me. If I log out and I try another username password for a user that doesn't exist, and I try logging in, this should fail because there is no Mike Smith user. And indeed that's failed, told me that that's incorrect. So, so far so good and it looks like you couldn't hack. Even if you knew that there was a user such as admin, but if you didn't know the password, and I try and log in, again it won't let me in. So let's try the SQL attach. I'm going to enter quote to close off the initial um, username equals quote, and then I'm going to put or one equals one hyphen hyphen. I can leave the password blank and I'll press login and it's logged me in. And notice it's actually logged me in as admin and uh, yeah, I didn't provide that as the user and the reason it's done that is that admin is the first result in my table of users. So it will by default log you in as the first user.